All right, we're talking about Google Drive, and Google Drive is a website where we can store our documents. Uh, we'll talk about some other things a little later, Google Docs, Google Sheets. These are um, apps that we can use to create documents that we would store in Google Drive, but Google Drive is a place where we store things, store our documents. So let's get started. We're going to look at the interface today for Google Drive. If you're, if you're not in Google Drive, you can go to drive.google.com, drive.google.com, and it'll take you to Google Drive. You'll have to be logged in with your Google account, uh, or it'll prompt you to log in with your Google account. So here I am. I'm logged in with my Google account, and I'm at Google Drive, and this is what you'll see. On the left-hand side, uh, is kind of a navigation pane, P-A-N-E, pane where you can um, you can look at what you've got. Uh, notice as you click on these things, it'll show up, uh, the contents of whatever you click on will show up over here in this pane right here, the content pane. And so if I want to, for example, I can click on my drive and you'll see what uh, is in my drive. My drive is where we store things. It's my Google Drive. Uh, I can click on this little arrow and it shows the folders that I've created within Google Drive. We'll talk about folders a little bit later. This computer's right here. Although if you'll notice real quick, uh, when you click on My Drive, you'll see the things that are in your My Drive, the things that you've got, the documents you have. Now at the top, there's this suggested area. And these are documents that you may have opened recently or that you open real often. It's just things that Google suggests that you uh, might want to look at. So you could click on those and open those documents. And down below it, you'll see folders and more documents or files. So uh, one thing to note here is there's this thing called list view. And if you click it again, it'll change into grid view. Click it once and uh, it'll change into the other view. So click it again, it'll change into list view. So yours may be in grid view or list view to start with. So if you're in grid view, you're going to see the documents listed like this, like here's um, things I want to do this summer, Zeb's things to do, that sort of thing. Uh, I can click it again and you'll see them, the same documents, but they're shown in more of a thumbnail view. This, the, these, this thumbnail view is nice if you want to like look at photos, things like that, that you want to see a little bit more of the document. But I generally like to keep it in list view. Uh, you can see a little more information about the document itself. Like, for example, uh, this document called Resource Website, uh, it was created by me, um, and it was last modified on May 14th, 2021. Lastly, here you can sort by clicking on these titles. For example, if you want to sort all these things by name, I can click on name, and it'll sort by the name. And notice this is in... Um, this is in ascending order to start with. I click again, it'll be in descending. Notice the Z's are listed first. These are folders and these are documents. So you can reverse the, the sort uh, low to high or high to low. Uh, over here, you can click on last modified and you can say last modified by me or last opened by me. We'll say last modified. And then if I want to see the more recent ones or the older ones. So this is the one that's most recent listed down to the older. And this would be uh, least recent listed. So uh, this is the, the the pane where you can see the contents of my drive. I'm going to run through these things on the left hand side for you real quick. My drive, of course, shows you what you've got stored in your Google Drive. Um, then computers, this is uh, if you're syncing your files to a computer. To start with, you usually don't do this because remember, we're trying to store everything up in the cloud. Everything, we want everything to be stored uh, on the web where we can get to it from any of our devices, from our phones, from our computers. Uh, but if you have a computer you work with, for example, at home or in your office, and you've got files that you save onto that computer, like let's say you're working in Word and you save it to your computer, you can synchronize the files that you've stored on the computer with the folders, the, the Google Drive that you have. So uh, when you save the file on your computer, it'll then automatically be uploaded into the cloud, into your Google Drive and, and vice versa. So uh, you can set that up, but let's don't do that because we want to, our goal here is to store really everything in the cloud and you can work directly on it in the cloud uh, by going to this website, the drive.google.com. Here's shared with me. These would be files or documents, uh, folders that have been, others have shared with you from their Google Drive. Uh, here are the recently opened items. Here are starred items. If you, if you uh, want a, um, uh, if, if there's an important document or documents that you want to star, 
uh, so that you can open them pretty quickly. You can star them, and this would be where that you would see them if you click on this. Trash is everything that you've deleted that hasn't been permanently deleted. I think they've got it where it's every 30 days it gets deleted um, um, if you don't do anything. I'm not sure about that. Uh, this is how much cloud storage you have. By default, when you create your Google account, you'll have 15 gigabytes, and you can buy 15 gigabytes of, of storage, and uh, you can buy more storage if you want to, and it's relatively cheap. I bought, I think I've got um, a gigabyte or something on one of my other accounts that I'm using, so you can get it relatively cheap. So that's the basic um, user interface. I want to show one, one last thing. You can click on something like, for example, this uh, I want to travel document. You can click on that, and there's this little eye over here, and you can view the details of that. So it'll open another little pane and you can close that off as well. So that's just a quick look at the interface.